Is rationality rules transphobic? So if you've been paying attention at all to what's been going on with him, um, not too long ago he was on the uh, Atheist Experience podcast um, show, which is hosted by the uh, Atheist Community of Austin. After he was on that show, the Atheist Community of Austin denounced him as being transphobic. And the basis for this was one video that he made concerning trans women in sports. Now, since I'm a transsexual woman, I thought I would go ahead and chime in on this. So, right off the bat, I'm going to say that he is not transphobic. He never came across as transphobic. In his video on trans women in sports... You know, he might have said some things that are inaccurate or perhaps insensitive, but transphobic, no. And he actually just recently made a video apologizing. And one of the things he said was that he was really grateful for the people who calmly, you know, explained things to him rather than just straight up accusing him of transphobia because He's, he said, like, over and over in that video that he's never been transphobic, and, and if he had seen comments just straight up accusing him of being transphobic, he would have just ignored them and moved on. So I think it's important to just not automatically just jump to conclusions, because I understand that this whole thing is the whole issue of trans women in sports is a sensitive issue. And anyone who is skeptical of trans women in sports or, you know, raising some concerns about trans women in sports, I can see how people why people would would go, oh, that person must be transphobic if they have a problem with trans women in sports. Well, guess what? I have those same same sort of concerns. If it could be demonstrated scientifically that we had any kind of a significant advantage over cis women, then yeah, I would be in favor of us not participating in sports against cis women. That just makes sense. But it's all a matter of having the science to back it up. And it sounds like rationality rules. He wasn't entirely accurate as far as the science goes. Because he did say in his apology video that he underestimated the effects of hormone therapy. And speaking for myself as a uh, post-operative transsexual who's been on hormones. uh, Yeah, I'm definitely not as strong as I used to be. And I've, I've noticed this, you know, like lifting weights at the gym. I remember one time, you know, I wasn't going to the gym like regularly, but I, I was able, I got myself up to being able to uh, do dumbbell presses with 60 pound dumbbells. Um, nowadays, uh, I think I've gotten myself up to like, I think 30 pounds. So it's going to definitely take some work to get back up to where I used to be back when I had normal male testosterone levels. I mean, in fact, since I had my surgery, my testosterone levels plummeted to the point of being slightly below the normal female range to the point where, and my testosterone levels were low enough that I actually asked my endocrinologist if I could actually take testosterone. And so I actually have a prescription for testosterone gel just so I can boost my testosterone levels to within the normal female range. So, so yeah, I mean, low testosterone levels can have a significant impact. Now, I don't know about what impact, you know, having gone through a male puberty is going to have. And again, if it could be demonstrated scientifically that we have a significant advantage over other folks, then yeah, we shouldn't be allowed to compete with cis women. That's just ridiculous. Funny thing, though, all this like anti-trans people in in, um, 
in sports hysteria where that's all gone. An interesting example is is a trans boy, this like high school kid, um, female to male transsexual. He wanted to compete with the boys, a female to male transsexual wrestler. He wanted to compete with the boys, but they didn't let him. So he was competing with the girls. And he's on testosterone. So he so he's effectively a girl on steroids. So it's like he has this advantage over the other girl over the girls from taking testosterone, but they don't allow him to compete with the boys because he's trans. And it's just kind of amusing seeing the uh, reaction to the articles where people assume that it's a male to female competing with the girls. Anyway, that's kind of veering off a little bit. Back on topic with the whole incident with rationality rules. Honestly, I think people are just too goddamn PC and sensitive these days. People love to find isms and phobias where they don't exist. If anybody says anything or does anything that could be considered racist, homophobic, transphobic, you name it, they will get fucking jumped on. And it's ridiculous. Seriously, people. And it's that's kind of how these like progressive narratives, these progressive things work is... You can't be pushing the narrative of oppression if it's not there. So people are constantly on the lookout for any kind of, you know, oppression, discrimination, etc. And it's just absolutely ridiculous how, like I was watching a clip from the, the show The Atheist Experience where Tracy was talking about the book of revelations and she said that the that it was crazy and then she apologized for using an ableist slur well speaking as a crazy person um i don't have a problem with people using that term if they're talking about something as nutty as the book of revelations and yes the book is pretty fucking nutty and crazy and whatever other term you want to use So let's stop being so goddamn sensitive, okay? Calling the book of Revelations crazy is not ableist, okay? And having concerns about trans women in sports is not transphobic, okay? Rationality rules has never struck me as being transphobic and accusing him of transphobia over one fucking video where he may, you know, he may have made some mistakes, is fucking ridiculous. Ugh. And now he's got to fucking bend over backwards to be like, I've always supported the LGBT plus community, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, it's just, it's fucking ridiculous that these people get crucified and then they got to bend over backwards to, to try to be like, No, I've never been a bigot. It's like, how about we just stop accusing people of bigotry unless there's actual bigotry there? (sighs) Really? I mean, there was a time when bigots were easy to spot. But now, like, people are finding bigotry where it doesn't fucking exist. Jesus fuck. So let's just all chill out and stop accusing people of transphobia or homophobia or racism or whatever without good fucking evidence. And if somebody says something that may be inaccurate or insensitive or whatever, how about instead of accusing them of being a bigot, we provide them with good, solid information. You know? Like, let's provide good information and rational arguments and not just jump to immediately crucifying the person because, 
honestly, like if I say something and then you just jump and accuse me of, of being a bigot when I'm not, well, I'm not likely to learn from whatever you have to say because I'm just likely going to tune your ass out. Like if you accuse me of being, you know, racist or homophobic or transphobic or anti-Semitic or whatever, you know, I'm just going to fucking tune your ass out, whatever you want to accuse me of. I mean, so how about instead of just accusing people of stuff, let's just offer polite discussion, okay? So I think I've been I've been rambling for a little too long. I was going to make this a short video, but it's turning out to be about 10 minutes long. So I am going to end this one. And just to reiterate, no, rationality rules has never struck me as being transphobic. He made one fucking video on the subject of trans people in um, in sports, and that's it. Now, he is going to make some more videos on the subject where he's going to talk about how his views have changed and all this stuff. And, and uh, I look forward to seeing them because, you know, I might learn something about trans women in sports by watching these videos. So I encourage you to watch those videos and I will see you all on the next one.